everyone I've decided to do an introduction tag because in my last video I welcomed you to my channel but I was a bit rude and didn't really introduce myself and I'm sure people were like what's her accent why is her hair frizzy why can I hear birds chirping in the background so all of that will be explained right now with my introduction tag Olo Ngoa or Amy aka Salmon Scientist my name is Amy and also known as Salmon Scientist. Ole nu'u o lo'otina moni o sapapali'i. Ole nu'u o lo'otama moni o manono. My real mum is from the village Sapapali'i, which is on the big island called Savai in Samoa. And then my dad, he's from an island called Manono and it's really small, like there are no roads on it and you can walk around it I think in about like an hour. Ole nu'u o lo'otina nusila. Ole nu o lo tama New Zealand. And then my other parents, my adopted parents, are from New Zealand. So from birth, I was adopted into a New Zealand family, Balangi family. And I was raised the New Zealand way. So I strongly identify as Samoan and also I strongly identify as New Zealand. I want to take it back and explain a bit about my schooling because that really shaped me and developed me and brought me to where I am today. So I went to an all girls Catholic school in New Zealand and I was there for seven years and during that time I loved music but the sciences and the maths like I was not that great at that. I, I was actually pretty shit at it. But don't get me wrong, you know, I was a really hard working student, I did my homework, I was respectful in class, I was quiet, you know, one of those students that sat at the back and didn't put their hand up because they didn't want to ask questions because I think they might be dumb. When it came to my final year um, at high school, you have to decide what subjects you want to take. And so I was like, I don't know what I want to take. But anyway, I took the maths and sciences um, and it came to the end of the year. And a lot of my friends, they were going to university, enrolling in science courses. So I just followed them because I didn't know what else to do. And I enrolled in a Bachelor of Science, despite having failed my externals for my biology and chemistry exams. Uni was a lot different from high school. You know, I came from a small school with about 700 girls in total. And then when I went to university, there'd be about 200 students in one class. And on top of that, I was studying science, stuff that I was not good at. So, I mean, I didn't make it easy on myself. So, definitely those first six months were a struggle to adjust. But it wasn't until I was introduced to this program called Suakana. And it's an academic program for Māori and Pacifica students. And it's to enhance our academic success within the university. Having gone to the Suakana program, man, like, they, they made me come out of my shell and I really developed as a person. You know, I felt confident to ask questions and I didn't feel dumb asking those questions. I was with people who just got me, you know, and there was such a good support system. I don't think I would have um, survived at university without them. I would have dropped out mostly after my first year. Basically, the rest is history. You know, they helped me complete my bachelor's, which is three years my postgraduate which was a year and also my masters which was one year five years later i'm done with the university and so after university again i'm like i don't know what i want to do i've had seven years of high school five years of university uh girl i think it's time for a break she needs a break she's like she's like no more so for a while I went back to music and I did some tutoring with some awesome kids um, teaching them how to play violins, cellos, violas. After that I felt it, the time was right, you know, I just felt ready to go back and work in science. So during my development in Tuakana, there was a big awareness of the lack of Māori and PI in science and particularly in biological science. So like during my bachelor's there were about they like, there were quite a lot of us. I'd say about 20 out of 200 or maybe more, 500 biological students. So 20 Māori MPI students, which was quite a lot. And then by the time I got to my master's, it was really only myself and my Māori friend who had graduated with a master's in biological science. 
So it is very important to me that I'm in an area of contributing to and learning from Māori and PI. So with that intention, I wanted to work in Samoa because that's where I'm from. And that's why I'm now working as a plant and post harvest scientist in Samoa. That's something that I would never ever thought that I'd be doing. And so that's why I started this channel for you guys, because I want to take you along my journey, show you things and be like, wow, that's so cool. Or like, wow, I want to know more about this. You know, can we, can you break that down for us? Thank you for letting me speak and listening to me speak. And I will see you in the next video. So far, so good.